So we're here with Brad, president of the congregation and champion of all things with the building project. Brad, tell us where we are right now. Well, where we are upstairs here is on the second floor, and this is the connecting wing that will go from the new offices over here, where we'll make a penetration in this existing wall to allow people to move directly into the choir loft from our new building and avoid the stairs. Uh, this is the music practice room that we're standing in. Looking out over this way is the stairwell and the elevator shaft, which is where people have a lot of questions about where that's going to be. So we can move over that way. And this is where the elevator will come out. And then over in this area, Music storage. Uh, I understand this will be Jacob's office here in this corner. Uh, in his room and the other offices have large windows that will allow some of the light to come in through the windows or out in the fellowship hall. So then moving this way is, is the offices of, you know, will be Suzanne and the Pop. Uh, pastures and uh, others in this area. This area here is going to be our work room and all the things associated with the offices, storage, and all of that. Then over here again are the large windows. This is going to be where the, the large windows, both lower and upper, all along this east side and the north side, will be, you know, that will allow a lot of light to come into this and then down. Here is our Floyd Lamons has been called Fellowship East, which I think is a good description. This large area here where a uh, class, Sunday school classes will be. We can use it for post-COVID, you know, um, like our Christmas party, I envision things like that, wedding receptions and whatever other things. It's just a really large space. floor in the connecting wing between the, the uh, new east edition and back going towards the sanctuary in that way that'll be open that way. Uh, we've got the two new uh, bathrooms here, large bathrooms with large doors, uh, handicap stalls and all of those that are easily accessible to the area from the sanctuary. We've got you know, the elevator shaft here. And back behind there are, is another large work area, workspace that can be used. And then over here are also two offices here, back behind the reception. Um, you know, likely maybe Floyd Lemons may be in one of these. But we'll know. We've got lots of space to work out. That's one of the nice things with this. Uh, is what used to be the old east courtyard that's been filled in and this is going to be, be used for music. Uh, I think Suzanne's thinking about using this for, for uh, Sunday school kids opening in here because it's a really large room. It'll be nice and light because we'll have translucent panels along the west side of this upper area and on the east side to provide it a, a lot of space. Uh, there, and there'll be glass walls around two sides of this to where people can see in and, and participate. So just a real open look. This area here is our reception area for people coming in off our new east entrance. Where there'll be double doors here. We'll have cameras and everything set up to where, where the access can be controlled. Uh, a lot of parking out there, things of that nature for people to utilize coming into the office area. There'll be a reception desk right here in this area uh, for whomever we have to And we've got this area which is real open and high, again with windows upper and lower along the east side and on the north side. Uh, the upper office area is cantilevered out over this area. Area comes all the way back into this area, so it's just a really large space 
uh, for us to utilize in so many ways that we really needed this kind of space. And here we have two really large classrooms. Uh, I understand the plans are that Steve Short's Sunday School class will be in one of these, the Wired Word will be in the other. And then there's also a bathroom here for people to utilize here, you know, when they're on this side of the, the building for, for doing. So what can we expect to see next? Well, what you can expect to see next is uh, it's planned for this area to be completed by the end of May. And then that'll allow us to move the offices and everything over to, to this side. Then they'll start doing the demolition over where the existing offices are and filling in that courtyard and raising that up to where it'll be similar to what we have over here on, on this side. Uh, so that'll start in, in uh, June, as soon as we can make the migration over. Uh, and we hope to have everything completed by the end of the year. Great.